hey guys welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to do a product demo first impression and slight review and the product that I'm referring to is the Neutrogena nourishing longwear makeup um, tone correcting complex foundation Neutrogena added three more shades to its line three darker shades um, and I got the last two which I don't know if online they have more but um, in the stores I've only seen the three extra shades um, the one I got is in 115 cocoa or cocoa and 135 chestnuts I don't know if there's any shades in between 115 and 135 I assume that there is but anyways I wanted to try these this line specifically the long wear for a long time but they didn't have any colors remotely in my range so when I saw this I, I deemed it necessary to try especially since it's long wear summer's coming up warm weather and I tend to be super super oily I've already had to put away my um more natural looking dewier looking foundations bring those back out in the fall and winter but I wanted to test this out now I wasn't sure if I was more this color because I think this color is a little light or if I was more this color which I do get darker in the summer so I assumed that I would be kind of closer to this one so in the meantime I'm gonna try this one out mixing it or whatever but I'm excited to um, try this I can't remember the price of this to me I thought it was more up there um, in price range in regards to the drugstore I think it was like 15 it's in between I've seen it in between like 14 and 17 dollars um, also I think there was 15.99 or 14.99 and I got it for buy one get one half off and then I think it was buy one get one half off or buy or they were 40% off something like that something of that nature and then you know keep on so let's go ahead and try it I've already primed my face I've got a little bit of corrector under my eye and um, I always try my face so I would never try a foundation without priming my face I prime my face with um, CoverGirl True Blend um, primer for oily skin <clears throat> and these foundations come in one fluent ounces one fluent ounces it's glass and it says let's read on the back of it it's a 12 hour makeup in, that instantly erases the look of skin imperfections Clinic, clinically proven to make skin tone look more even in just four weeks even without makeup it's lightweight natural looking cover resist and heat cover resist heat and humidity so all right so I'm going to use this tray to put a little bit of the foundations on and on one side of my face I'm going to use a um, sponge and the other side of my face I'm going to use a brush ooh, ooh, ooh. So sorry you didn't see me pouring it, but that's what it looks like. And let me do it a little bit just to see if it matches my skin. Um, it's slightly light. No. It doesn't really have a fragrance fragrance it's got like a slightly clean smell to it so this is the 135 which is the darker one which is the darkest one in the line <clears throat> and it's not wanting to come out the other one came out pretty easy easily um dude dude why are you not coming out omg 
Um, hello. I ain't really shaking this thing, and it's not coming out. What they make the darkest one thicker? All right, five hours later, some starts to peek through, but it's not really. It's thicker than the other one. Um. I don't know. I can't get it to come out. Come out. Come out. All right. Let me put the top back on and shake it. Well, some of it got on my gosh darn hand and not on the pan. Okay, so there's the dark one. There's the light one. I'm going to mix it and I'm going to dot it all over my face. I really didn't get the dark one too much on the pan because I didn't want to come out. So I'm just going to dab it all over my face. I feel like I got too much on this pan. But we're gonna put it all on my face. As you can see, the light one poured out rather easily, and the dark one took forever to pour out. And I put too much on this pan with the light one because it poured out too much and not, a, not enough of the darker color because it didn't pour out enough. And of course, these don't have, they don't have pumps. So, to me I feel like that's a downfall. Because everybody likes a pump with and their foundation. Okay. So on this side of my face, I'm going to use this brush from Eagle Tools. I need to get a mirror. Oh mirror, oh mirror. Where are you? So, so far, the color isn't terribly bad with the mixed. I mean, that was one of the downfalls that I had to mix um, colors. You know, you just kind of would like to go to a store and find your right color without having to buy two. So that blended out pretty well and it's not like um, it's not a matte finish it looks more like skin like. Alright, now let's do the other side, which I'm going to use my handy dandy Real Techniques Blender sponge. Sprain it. Let's see if this side, oh Jesus, sorry. Now. I don't know if I'll be able to tell if um, if it oxidizes as much like you know get to be able to give you the real like 
you know, oxidization from the colors separately because I'm mixing them and the darker color has more red in it, which, you know, for me is a good thing because I, you know, am more red undertoned, especially in the summer. That's so, oh, see now I done went over my whole nose with this blender brush, but not even paying attention. But, um, uh, so far, I would say the foundation blended, blended pretty good with the sponge and with the, with the brush, even though I'm going over spots that should have been just the brush. I'm not even paying attention, but y'all get, y'all get me. Ah, oh, y'all get me. All right. So, I feel like it matches me up pretty decent. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? And I felt like it blended very well with the brush and it blended very well with the sponge. Honestly, I don't have, with this first time using it, I don't have really no preference between the two. They did very well. Like, I feel like it's pretty much the same. Sorry, I went out of looking at my mirror. I feel like it's the same amount of coverage from the two. So, I like it so far. I like it so far. I don't have, oh, I have an old school clock. We're gonna look at the time. And I don't even know if you can see. Can you see? Can you see? It is 3.34. Don't look at it. It's a little jank. A little jank. You know. Make it do what you do. 3.34. So, I'm going to apply the rest of my powder and set it. And then I will do an update. And this time I will do an update. I know I've done many or a couple other foundation um, product reviews and with no like for real for updates. So I'm gonna do an update. I'm gonna put some powder on. I'm not gonna put like um, heavy duty powder, but I do. Mama, maybe you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna set it. I wasn't gonna not set it, but I'm gonna set it because normally I would set it. Yeah, so I'm gonna set this and I'm gonna come back and. Then we're going to do how it works, you know, throughout the day. It's 3.34. We'll see. All right, so this is my face with the rest of my makeup on. And I just put on L'Oreal Mineral Troop Match Mineral Powder um, to set my face. And I put on a little bit of contour, a little bit of highlight, blush, and concealer, and lipstick so i will check back in with you guys in a couple hours just to see how this foundation is holding up if it transfers if it oxidizes if it turns into a, a oily mess or if it separates i will let you know i will let you know so i'll see you guys later on Alright, so I am back with my final thoughts on this Neutrogena Longwear Foundation. So, um, just to give some clarification, because in the beginning I wasn't sure about the new shades or how many new shades were provided, but this along with the two other foundation lines that they have in their line, they've added three new shades. So there is... One below this, which is, or above it, Honey, but just lighter than this. And then there's one a little darker than this, which is Chestnut. This is Cocoa. I did have Chestnut along with this. However, A, it was hard to get it to pour out of the bottle. As you can see, when I was demoing it, it never got any better. I tried two more times, to use it two more times, and the difficulty, even with it, me having it like this, 
in my um, collection. I had it backwards. I kept it backwards. I still couldn't get it to pour out of the bottle good or fast or just the consistency was so much different from this one. And then the price range online, um, Neutrogena's web website, it is $14.99. Um, there's eight shades total and it's said to improve the tone of your skin after a while. I haven't used it consistently um, since I bought it and did a first impression. I've used other foundations off and on so but I've used it a couple of times to get my final thoughts. A the chestnut was too dark for me. It was very red tone and um, even with I didn't I tried this by itself and came to find out that I could wear this one by itself without mixing it with the chestnut. Um, it this does oxidize along with the chestnut oxidizing so it does oxidize it does get darker because this when I put it on my face it looks a little bit lighter but you know eventually moves to my skin tone it is lightweight filling it is easy to blend um, the claims for long wear I believe that in cooler months say fall winter hmm, beginning of spring the claim might hold true to itself. Um, what I demoed it, I think it was closer to April maybe. It was cooler. It's June. It's the very end of June. And it's hot today. The heat index is high. The You can't breathe when you go outside. This did not last. I was only probably two hours maybe two and a half hours like after wearing this so the long wear I mean and I mean I've sprayed my face with setting spray I had you know a little bit of powder to set it bad boy did not last today two hours I give it two hours and my face was it was oily so that claim for this no bueno I don't know, maybe it'll do better in the fall, the winter, and spring, but no. I have had other foundations that I can get to four to six hours in the summer, maybe four. But two hours? Nah, I'm good. But um, it does have pretty good coverage, I would say that much too. The coverage isn't bad. Um, no smell. Let me see. It has like a clean kind of smell, but not really like a perfume smell or a chemical smell. So, that was just my thoughts, my final thoughts in this foundation. Would I repurchase this one? Not really. It's, to me, I feel like too expensive for me not to be like, wow. Like, I need it to be like, fallout, faint, kind of wow, in order for me to want to spend 14 15 dollars on a foundation in the drugstore it's got to it's got to make me love it and I don't love it I don't hate it but I don't love it like I don't hate it but I don't love it so I repurchase it no I think this is the end of the road R.I.P. Neutrogena Longwear Foundation I'm happy that they did decide to um, provide darker colors because at first I really wanted to try this but the option wasn't an option because there was no darker colors so now I have the option I was able to try it and unfortunately this one does not work for me it might work for somebody else who is not as oily as I am um, the other foundations in their line I think are healthy skin and blemish control which you know I can't do the healthy skin because I'm pretty sure that's going to make me dewy even more. And the blemish control, I really don't really need anything to control my blemishes. I will say, I think this foundation broke me out. Um, I wore it, not including this time specifically, but I wore it um, two other times. And I broke out like right here. So, and it does have SPF of 20 in it. And I don't, 
I think I kind of saw in some places that Neutrogena is not cruelty free and that they test on animals, but don't hold me to that. If it's true, um, I'm going to pop it in somewhere, but besides that 12 hour claim, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> So, again, this is my final thoughts on this foundation. If you want to try it, go ahead and do it. I say, you know, it doesn't hurt to try something for yourself because everybody's skin is different. Mine is just totally oily and totally oily-er in the summer. So this did not pass the summer test. And I will continue my journey looking for that foundation that can hold me up in the summer. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.